Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're taking our first proper look at the new armor system to understand what has changed under the surface. This doesn't quite work how I was expecting it to and in some cases you get really surprising results such as taking zero damage from incoming bullets so this video is an important one to pay attention to. So, as you're probably aware, Tarkov has changed over to a new armor hitbox system, meaning that armor now covers what it actually covers on your player model rather than the entirety of the hitbox like it used to. For example, thorax armors like the Slick used to protect the whole chest even where there isn't actually armor, most specifically on the sides, but now you can get one or two shot in these places as the armor doesn't magically function over the whole hitbox anymore. In patch 14, there are now broadly three types of armor. Number one, those exclusively made up of invisible built protection, i.e. they cannot have plates removed or added to them. These can be purely soft armor like the Packer or a combination of hard and soft armor but with no modularity like the 6b5 Ulay. This is represented by the purple label in the corner of the protection area and there are no other slots for replaceable plates. Number two is those that are exclusively made up of plates. These are quite rare, but there are a couple like the Hexgrid and the Eagle Allied MBSS, which are purely plate carriers in the strictest sense. Without adding hard plates, they have no armor at all. Number three is the most common, which is the modular armors made up of both an inbuilt section and replaceable plates. These are typically a combination of class two or three soft armor on their general coverage and class three to six plates inserted at the front, back and sides that in most cases sits over the top of the soft. In armor type 1, with built-in protection only, this works pretty much the same as how it used to before patch 14. When you get shot, the game now checks for armor coverage first, and if it hits the armor, then the bullet rolls for penetration. If the round penetrates, your PMC takes damage based on the bullet's actual damage number that you can find on the ballistics wiki, minus some amount of reduction, which depends on the bullet's pen and the class of the armor, and can be up to about 40%. For high pen bullets and low level armor, this ends up being zero. As the armor's durability gets lower on each specific part, the damage reduction also becomes less powerful, gradually reducing down to zero once the durability is completely gone, at which point you take full damage from incoming bullets. If the bullet doesn't go through the armor, your PMC takes blunt damage instead, which is based on the damage of the bullet and the armor's pass-through value, which is not a visible stat but can be observed in testing and does vary between armors. None of this should be a big surprise because this is how it worked before, so let's move on to armor type 2, plates only. This is where things start to get a bit spicy because the damage model for armor plates is different to that of inbuilt armor, i.e. the old system. As a bullet connects with your PMC, the game still checks for armor coverage, this time based on the exact hitbox of the plate inside the armor, and if it hits, there is a roll for penetration. Here comes the important and new part. If the round doesn't get through, it does precisely zero damage to your PMC, i.e. blunt damage is simply turned off for modular plates. This is quite a surprising result, but as you can see in this clip where I got sandwiched between two PMCs on customs, I have a blacked head and thorax due to bleeding and two blacked arms as well, so taking any damage above the stomach will kill me. But I in fact do take another hit, because it lands on the AVS class 4 plate, it deals no damage at all and I survive for a few seconds longer. What else over here? So, if the bullet rolls a pen instead, the round hits your PMC for damage with reductions just like in the inbuilt case, but there is another new feature of the modular plates that is that the damage reduction appears to be fixed no matter what the durability of the plate is. For example, we tested the Eagle Allied MBSS with class 3 polymer plates against M855 ammo with 31 pen, which does have a high chance to get through. The armor applied a flat 25% damage reduction, i.e. we took 43 damage rather than 57 from all incoming bullets, even when the class 3 plate was at a tiny durability right up until it got to zero, which was at the point where the full damage started to be done again. Apparently, we don't actually know if this behavior is intentional or not, but it is kind of realistic due to how hard plates work IRL. Alright, so what about situation 3? Most armors in the game are actually a combination of 1 and 2, i.e. a soft armor base with a hard modular plate over the top. Outside of fringe cases with helmets, we haven't seen this functionality in Tarkov for a very long time, actually before I started playing in fact, so it's really not well understood at all. The best way to think about it is as two layers that bullets need to get through in order to reach your player's body and cause damage. Typical early game armors of this type will have class 3 or 4 hard plates on the front and maybe the back and the sides with class 2 soft armor elsewhere. A neat little trick is to use the handbook if you want to go and have a look at these in their default configurations if you don't have access to the fleet or actually have a copy in your stash. So if only the inbuilt armor is hit, this works like situation 1, dealing damage with a reduction on a penetration or blunt damage if not. 
If only the hard plate is hit, such as on the sides, this works like situation 2, so no damage at all if the bullet doesn't pen, and damage with a fixed reduction if it does. If an area is hit on the plate with the inbuilt armour directly behind it, the bullet rolls for penetration on the plate first. If it doesn't go through, as before, you take no damage at all. If it does get through, it then rolls for pen on the soft armour underneath. You can't just add the two armour classes together because it doesn't really work like that, but something important to note is that like any material penetration in Tarkov, such as shooting through a box or through metal, the bullet ends up with lower damage and pen numbers when it comes out of the other side than it did when it came in. This means that even though it defeated the hard plate on a penetration, the soft armour actually gets a bit of a better chance to catch it than you might think looking at the bullet's stats. If the bullet pens the plate but doesn't pen on the soft armour, it causes blunt damage, which is typically really small because it already went through one round of damage reduction. If it pens the plate and then pens the soft armour, it tends to do a little more, but given that it's been through two rounds of damage reduction now, this can also be surprisingly low. This is primarily the case if the bullet isn't high pen relative to the armour that it hits. A good example of this situation is the 6B23-1, i.e. the propane barter armour. In its default configuration, it has a class 3 steel plate at the front with class 2 soft armour behind it, and we shot at this with 9mm PST. The plate starts with 50 durability, and our PMC took precisely 0 damage for the first 11 hits, and it was only on hit 12 at 25 durability, i.e. 50%, that the plate failed, resulting in soft armour damage and 6 damage on our thorax. This happened again on shot 16, but you can see how amazing the protection of the combination can be, especially if the bullet is rated relatively low compared to the plate, and it was only on shot 22 where the plate was fully zeroed that we saw any sort of regular damage, hitting for 34. This is still a 37% damage reduction coming from the class 2 soft armour on a penetrating hit. We also saw one instance of 18 damage, which was the blunt damage from the class 2 catching a PST, but overall in this particular scenario it would have taken 24 shots from PST to kill the 6B13 wearer if shot repeatedly in the plate area. While this is not practically what would happen in 99% of real Tarkov gunfights, this showcases the particular importance of avoiding the plate if you're using rounds with a low-ish pen, because this is in fact even worse than it was before. In the past, you could at least win through death by a thousand cuts, with blunt damage eventually doing the job, but given that blunt damage isn't applied through modular plates, you can take a surprising amount of hits from bad bullets to the plate directly. For me, this does feel kind of balanced. The plate hitbox is smaller than the armour itself, you've still got class 2 or 3 only on the other non-armour plate parts, however, if you choose an armour with inbuilt protection instead, you can get class 4 all over. For example, the 6B5 Ule is like this, but non-replaceable plates have their own downside of giving blunt damage pass-through, so it's a trade-off that you have to decide on. Something else of note that we saw during testing was that high pen rounds can penetrate the front plate, the soft armour, your PMC, and go right out the back and hit the rear plate on exit. This makes sense intuitively that it can happen, but it is kind of unfortunate that both can get damaged at the same time. This appeared in a test using 545 BP, which has a 45 pen now versus a Karund armour. There is a strategy for armours with the same types of plates in the front and the back to swap them over mid-raid if they get damaged, i.e. if your front plate gets damaged to 25 out of 50 durability, you can move the back plate to the front and the front plate to the back to enhance your armour against forward-facing enemies. But if the back plate gets damaged as well by high pen bullets, the value of doing this can be diminished quite a bit in these situations. So, broadly speaking, this should tell you enough to get started with the new system, i.e. soft armour works in the old way and armour plates work in a new way, passing through zero damage until they get penned and giving consistent damage reduction when they do. There were some strange results that need a bit more investigation, such as the 6B13 with a steel class 4 plate reducing 762 PS, which is 35 pen and 57 damage for reference, to only 27 damage, which was a 53% reduction, way more than you could get in the old system. Likewise, a Spartan Combined Materials Class 4 plate used in the Cry AVS against M80 only reduced its 80 starting damage to 74, which is a 7.5% reduction, which is way less than it used to be in the old system. Something about the mechanics of the armour plates themselves seems to give different damage reductions than it used to, with lower rated rounds getting reduced loads and higher rated rounds getting reduced less, but we'll have to figure this out as we go along. So next up, go and check out my video on the best level 1 weapons to use with the new armour hitbox system now live, otherwise as usual a big shout out to all my patrons, and as always, have fun in your raids.